So yeah, welcome back to another episode of Where Were You David? This video should have been uploaded yesterday. I know I'm a day late on this subject, but it's still an incredibly important piece of intel that I do want to cover since it will play a major role in the upcoming season of Ninjago. But yeah, this amazing piece of intel consists of images for the new Season 11 villain minifigures. I want to emphasize the fact that I cannot show these images in the video due to copyright reasons, however there will be a link down below in the video description that will take you guys directly to these images if you would like to view them. So what are the villains this season? They've been called Pyro Snakes, meaning Fire Snakes, but I just call them Snake Mummies. They're also set on fire too, so I guess the best way to describe them is Fiery Snake Mummies. There are two of them, with one minifigure being a golden snake using a dual molded headpiece in order to accomplish the fiery mane, if you will, as well as the actual golden snake head. The torso printing looks very Egyptian-like and is extremely detailed, and then we get a reuse of the molded ghost tail piece from Possession, just in orange and yellow, which was also used for Nauticon's minifigure. The other snake is a brown snake that has the same molded head as the first one, just in a different color. The rest of the body looks good, with printing all over the torso and legs that make it actually look like it's a mummy. So yeah, I tried to do my best describing both minifigures for you guys, now let's dive into my thoughts on them. I'm really fond of the fact that these minifigures have new snake head molds, because I would have expected a reuse of some serpentine head molds if I'm being honest, so that did blow my expectations out of the water, however I will say that the actual snake head mold isn't really that good. I personally feel like the elongated snake neck makes both minifigures look like giraffe people, and the fact that there is absolutely no printing on the snake head molds makes me feel like we're back in 2005 where LEGO was producing head molds without any prints like they did with the Star Wars Gamorrean guard minifigures, or Dobby from Harry Potter. I appreciate the fact that it's a new mold, and a dual mold of that, but just because it's new doesn't necessarily mean it looks good. I do hope that LEGO does include actual printing on these head molds when they're released in the sets, and who knows, maybe then the new snake heads will grow on me. Additionally, the use of the ghost tail piece for this golden snake is bothering me for whatever reason. It just doesn't flow well together, and I'm always going to associate a snake with an actual serpentine tail, and the fact that this minifigure doesn't include one just gives me this really odd vibe. I once again appreciate LEGO for trying to do something new here, and I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but just because it's new doesn't mean it's good. Other than that, I think it's a cool concept to have snake mummies on fire. Sure, it's a bit silly, but I'm sure it'll work story-wise. The writers always find a way for the most stupid stuff to make sense in Ninjago. But yeah, that does it for my thoughts. I'm interested in seeing what you all think down below in the comments. Let's start a discussion down below. Are you digging these figures? Are you not? And yeah, that pretty much does it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and see ya!